So what does it mean to me to be a father? Um, I notice these kind of questions, good timing. Uh, I notice these kind of questions, it reminds me of like, what does it mean to be a man? And one, you can just, you know, like practically define, not practically, to define them in a practical sense. You know, man's role is to create order, simply put. So uh, whether you're big and strong or you're smart and you can do things, you know, but either way that that's, and it, it's nice to recognize that in somebody. But so what does it mean to be a father? Well, then just to define it practically again, right? To provide, uh, and for me, the key word is to prepare. And I think both parents, but probably especially for the father is, um, Every mammal, as far as I know, needs to prepare their, to prepare their young for life. Um, unfortunately, and I find in our culture, in our Western civilization, we do far more protecting than preparing. Um, and parents can only protect for so long, and then the kids are on their own, and they're screwed. So, so yeah, but preparing you, you, it's tougher, it's harder, you got to do more. It's scarier, you know, letting kids do stuff. But that's how you, in the end, end up protecting them. So, but as a father, uh, for me, it was a big moment was when, when, when you were born and I remember holding you and it really hit me that I have to get this kid ready in the ways that I wasn't ready for life. Um, and you know, that, that's a lot of stuff, but, um, I don't, I don't, I guess I really haven't met one personally, but when I read online, about fathers talking about the greatest moment in their life when they held their newborn child and it's the best thing they've ever done. And I just really don't trust those fathers. I know it sounds a bit prickish, but it just my, my natural feelings, I don't trust them. It just seems to have it all backwards. Um, you've done nothing pretty much up to that point. The hard, all the hard work is still ahead of you. So anyways, that, that for me it was a moment when I realized, I think, what a father should be, needs to be. So I just knew I had to get you ready. Um, and then everything else after that, it would entail, you know, setting a good example, having high standards, reasonable, but nonetheless high expectations for kids. I find that uh, something else that contradicts uh, our, contradicts our Western culture is it, it's, uh, I think it's wrong when I see on Facebook and whatnot that um, I love my child no matter what and that sort of attitude and that's a mother's role. Everybody needs somebody to be there at the finish line when you come in last, which I have done and, and someone still loves you and cheers you. We all need that person, but we also need someone else to sit there and say, hey, last is not good enough for my son and who helps and pushes you and shows you how, not just bosses you around, you know, I, I get that, but nonetheless, someone to have expectations, we need that in life. Very, very few of us, and I am not one of those people who are self-motivated, the rest of the population, 99 point whatever percent, are not, we need outside motivation. Yeah, so a mother's role is to have, you know, to love their kids unconditional, you know, unconditional, unconditional love. Uh, father's role for me is, is very conditional. Um, obviously I think some people might have a problem with it in that well what if the father's wrong what if he's crazy what if he's yeah so be it I mean that's <laughs> that can happen that's, that's you know part of being human um, but nonetheless that, that's still that, it, that is still how it works like it or not uh, is that the father has expectations for his kids, has standards um, and how the kids should behave and then and how the kids should, mm, I don't want to say produce, but you know, what, what they end up doing in life. My, I don't have anything like, you know, my kids need to be a doctor or something, let's be realistic, but um, I do want effort to me, to, to me, and I think most reasonable people, it's about the effort. I don't mind if my kid gets a C, but if I see that they have put every effort into that test, I'm like, all right, you know, that's, that's, it's fine. As, as long as I saw the effort was there, 
and then we'll figure out how to, you know, together we can figure out how to raise that C.